Hey there, Michael Church with CrawlSpaceNinja.com and I've got a two-part question from a gentleman. He was wanting to know if the vapor barrier has to be taken up the wall if you're going to install foam boards, so stay tuned for the answer. Okay, so this question comes from Tim and it sounds like he's going to be putting foam board on his foundation walls and he wants to know does he have to put vapor barrier up as well depends on what kind of foam board you use Tim but basically what you can do is the the foam board itself can be a vapor barrier our termite resistant foam board can be a vapor barrier and of course the blue and pink stuff that you get at Home Depot or Lowe's also can be a vapor barrier so it may not be necessary to actually put a vapor barrier over the foam board but if you're worried about aesthetics and you want it to look nice and you want everything to be nice looking, you don't want a blue or a pink wall, then you may want to put the, the vapor barrier over the foam board versus under. If you decide to put it under the foam board, whenever you attach the foam board, you could pierce the vapor barrier in that process. So what we typically do is we'll put the foam board on and then put the vapor barrier over the foam board so that it looks nice and it's also controlling moisture that could be coming through the foundation wall. Okay, so anyway, that was a great question from Tim about the foam board and the vapor barrier. I hope that helped you out. And my name is Michael Church with CrawlSpaceNinja.com. And uh, please like this video down below and keep the questions coming. And we hope you make it a happy and blessed day. Thanks for watching. See you later.